In recent years, bell towers have been erected in some of the villages. The sound of the bells ringing has already become a part of everyday life. The expression of human creativity through arts and crafts is given a high priority. More and more people are turning away from their urban professions to learn fundamental skills. A former computer technician is now mastering rod weaving. A chauffeur is now a potter. A metallurgist is now a blacksmith. The abundance of wood as a construction material has allowed both men and women to learn the art of wood carving. Decorative carving adorns the interior and exterior of homes and civic buildings. At present, the community is still financially tied to the world economy. However, the master craftsmen work diligently developing their skills towards a time when they will be able to live untouched by the vagaries of the financial and energy markets. The goal is autonomous self-sufficiency. Community artists and painters periodically display their talents at exhibitions. Many who have never previously held a paintbrush are now learning to draw and paint, cultivating their imagination. The music of amateurs and many ex-professionals features prominently amongst the followers of Visarion. Variety show performers, opera singers, classical musicians, teachers and composers live here, creating different music styles and new songs. Festival days consist of a full concert program, including collective dancing, uniting the hearts of all participants. For some years now, a monthly community newspaper has been printed, recording the full spectrum of community life. From time to time, supplements are produced, devoted to special creative achievements such as fairy tales, poems, verses, drawings and photographs. The settlers maintain the view that a harmonious relationship with the environment and fellow human beings ensures the health of mankind. Until this harmony is reached, of course disease is present and needs to be treated by qualified people. The treatment of the patient is determined by considering the physical symptoms of the disease, the state of the patient's inner world and his or her attitude towards the illness. Vissarian's teaching is all-embracing and dynamic. It is not dogmatic. Physicians use techniques from Eastern and European medicine. Great attention is paid to medicinal herbs 
In one of the villages, there is a medical center. Specialists there encompass therapists, pediatricians, gynecologists, dentists, surgeons, and traditional folk healers. A man cannot harmoniously develop without a woman, and a woman without a man. The sacred keys to this relationship are love and children. The believer will never leave the family of his own free will after taking the responsibility for a partner, especially when there are children involved. Children are the future of any society, and here they are given special care. From birth, children are acclimatized to the natural local conditions and bathed in cold water, strengthening their resistance. Community schools encourage a friendly approach between teacher and pupil and aim to remove aggressive behavior. Instead of receiving marks, the children are given special badges in the shape of the sun or flowers. The educational syllabus includes a basic knowledge of trades and crafts tailored to surviving in this beautiful but extreme environment. Boys are groomed to become master craftsmen and not warriors. Girls are groomed to be skilled and resourceful hostesses. Children's creativity is particularly emphasized and parents try to develop the imagination of their children at every opportunity. Musical and literary works created by the community do not contain negative or destructive images. They seek rather to strengthen and support the good so that children feel happy, comfortable and healthy in their environment. A small group of creative writers and producers have come up with the idea of the magic box, which gives the community a social framework of activities. Concerts, theatre, comics and children's stories are as much a part of this program as television and radio. Close links have been established with Russian and foreign artistic groups to promote the community work to the world. The most important part of this work is that the children are exposed to kind, creative and imaginative stories. Making a big, unique human family is one of the main tasks of the settlers. In many villages, groups are formed where all possessions and financial resources are pooled. People try to overcome the barriers of egoistic behavior, changing their inner self in the process of working together. New personal relationships are built, free from fear, envy and greed. At evening meetings, moral and ethical questions arising from situations presented during the day are openly and eagerly discussed. The process helps all believers to understand the interaction and the lessons to be learned. At the beginning of the 20th century, the German philosopher Oswald Spengler foresaw the birth of a new culture, which he called a Russian-Siberian culture. He considered its power and uniqueness would be in its fresh new approach, integrating the traditions and customs of many nationalities who would settle in Siberia. And who knows, perhaps what Spengler foresaw is now coming to fruition.